everyone! Welcome back to Academy of Pole Learning's Virtual Art Club. Today we are going to do a really cool project involving glue, watercolor, and salt. So for this project you will need one piece of paper. Make sure it's kind of thick paper so if you have cardstock or um, this is actually watercolor paper but you don't need that. Um, just something thick, not printer paper. It's going to be a little too weak and might um, rip. You're going to need some Elmer's glue um, or any type of white glue. This is what we'll be using to draw our designs and then adding salt on top. You will need salt. Any kind of table salt works. Make sure that you ask um, an adult in your house first before grabbing any so you make sure that you've grabbed the right kind. The um, I would just say it needs to be one that maybe you can pour. If it's salt that you have to grind, it might be a little harder. You're going to need watercolors um, any kind can do they can be liquid they can be ones in a pan if you don't have any watercolors you can also add uh, food coloring just a drop or two to a cup of water and that would work you'll need a paintbrush so that you can apply your watercolor a pencil only if you want to sketch a design first and then finally I have a baking sheet this is just for when I um, pour the salt on it doesn't fly everywhere on my table and I can easily uh, dump it into the garbage. All right, let's get started. Alright, so I let this dry overnight. You don't have to, but at least wait until the glue dries. So that might take a couple hours. I just chose to do it overnight because it was getting kind of late. Um, now we are going to watercolor. So you will need your salt painting. I took mine out of the tray. You can keep it in the tray if that makes it clean up a little easier. You need a jar of water or a glass, glass of water, cup, whatever. This is just going to help us um, wash out our brush, and then as well as um, apply water to the watercolor to activate the paint. You're gonna need a watercolor palette. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, if you don't have one, um, what you can do is you can take water uh, food coloring and put that into um, some different cups of water and kind of make your own watercolor. Um, but yeah. And if you don't have any of that and you just want to keep it as the salt drying, you can definitely color around this too. And it will be kind of like a cool texture drying and you can color the back. Your choice on how you want to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush, get it nice and wet. And then what I'm going to do, I'll show you guys, 
So if you're using a watercolor palette, you're going to want to get these nice and wet. So let's see, maybe I kind of want to use pink, purple, blue, and then probably some of this green because I have the seaweed to do. Okay. So if you guys can see, they're getting kind of wet now, um, and that's good. That's going to help us use paint. So since uh, my brush was in the blue, and you can even kind of swirl it around. Now you can see I've kind of soaked up some color, and now the bristles have changed. So that means you've got a lot on there. And all you're going to do is you're just going to dab it in. I've never done this before, so let's see how it turns out. Let's start easy with the bubbles. Oh, this is actually really cool. Okay, let me get some more water. <gasps> Look at that. It's like magic. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is so cool. Okay, so I'm not touching very hard. I'm just kind of lightly dabbing it. And it like absorbs it and moves it around. That looks really cool. Okay. I'll stop gushing and I'll just keep painting. So you guys, I'll probably speed up the video now. Um, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show.
it's pretty cool. If I can bring it a little closer, you guys can kind of see the texture of it, of the salt and the glue and the water together. Um, it's cool to watch how the water kind of spreads through the salt. Um, this is a really fun uh, sensory activity. Now you don't have to do the jellyfish, you can do whatever you want. It could be flowers, it could be um, maybe your name, it could just be fun shapes. I thought this one would be kind of interesting. Um, this was my first time ever doing this project, but I probably will do another one in the future because it was a lot of fun. All right, this is Miss Colleen with Academy of Home Learning, Learning's Virtual Art Club, just uh, signing off. Uh, please share your artwork either with me or with the Academy of Home Learning Facebook page. Um, I'd love to see what you created. And until next time, bye bye!